So we figured that we what we don't have on the show is a regular go-to for travel, that we can get it, all our spirits up and be feeling good about the next holiday we're going on. And there's no better person to turn to than the owner and founder of Travel Globe, Irene Jones. Irene is now part of the Extra Butter Cindy and Dad Show team. Irene, good morning. Good morning, guys. How are we going? <laughs> We're about as excited as you are today, Irene. I love this energy burst. I mean, in I your... am so excited. Yeah. We're going to be talking about travel. Oh. Who doesn't love that? Okay, this is going to be great. It's going to get us all the way through the year. It's going to get us all those great, wonderful endorphins <laughs> moving around in travel. Um, I'm so excited about this, Daz. Hey, Irene, uh, a question that I have for you before we talk about some of the fun things in store in 2024, it must be a fantastic industry to be part of when people are coming in to talk about a vacation or a holiday, a trip away, they're feeling in a good mood, they're really excited. It must be fun to be part of that. It's the best, guys, right? You get to be a part of a story and whether it be for a great reason they're traveling or sometimes, you know, it's not a great reason why you're traveling, Mm. you get to be a part of the story and that's what I love about being in this industry. And, yes, you get to have some fun, right? There are some incredible destinations out there and some places that people might not be aware of and some ways to travel that might save some money. So I think it's going to be a great year ahead for travel. The industry is back and booming and I think we've got some really great ideas for our listeners. How long have you been in the industry, Irene? I've been in the industry for around 25 years. I did take a short break uh, and came back and um, it's just something that's part of my blood. I think anyone that really has worked in travel for a long time just loves being a part of the industry, loves looking at these different ideas and travel you know, destinations. But also there's just so many great things happening in the space of you know, aviation where you know, I've got um, some great people that we're working with at the moment that are working on electric aircraft that are looking for carbon neutral solutions to travel as well. So there's some really great things happening out there which will start to affect the way that we travel into the future and that's pretty exciting. Before we chat about some of the fun things we can do this year, tell us about Travel Globe. So Travel Globe is an incredible business. We've got agents all over Australia. Um, we book everything. So come on through and we're happy to look after you at any time. And Travel Globe is um, an independent network of agents that can work and live wherever they like in the world because it's really important to me, especially that for an industry that, you know, supports itself on people travelling, that we also get to do that as well. So it's really important to experience the product you're selling and um, understand how to get that out to a wider audience. So, yeah, I love it. And Travel Globe is an incredible business. What a perk, hey? Would it be e- would it be probably easier to ask you what countries you haven't been to in the world? <laughs> probably easier to do that. And I think, well, there's a few, I suppose, there's a few Middle Eastern countries I haven't been to that I'd love to go to one day when some things settle down. But there are some incredible places out there that I would still love to explore. Um, but I do like to try to get out there as much as I can. And next up for me, I think, Daz and Cindy will be a cruise like you guys. Mm. Good stuff. Well, we want to talk about how uh, what our cruise is like <laughs> and how you've helped us for the next one. But before we do that, uh, let's just imagine we've got a bucket list. It's clean now. We have wiped it. We are ready to uh, load it up for 2024. What uh, What is sitting at the top of the bucket list and what, fills, what should be filling anybody's bucket list for 2024 for travel? All right, guys. So if you're looking at just, if we're looking at bucket lists, there's a few things on this year, right? So we've got the Olympics on in Paris. So it might be a little bit more expensive to go around Paris at this time of year. But what I suggest is flying into London. There's still some really great deals getting the train across. And there are still some great accommodation options for the Olympics in Paris. So that is a really great bucket list destination, especially this year being in Europe, because everything's at your doorstep. If you're going to go all that way, especially from Australia, go and explore some incredible cities. There's the Greek islands. Take you know, a trip down to Portugal where you can go from skiing to surfing in the same day <laughs> and then you know and then if you want to come a bit closer to home you know japan has got the cherry blossom season coming up but what i thought would be really great for the year coming up is sports tourism is doing really well and so you've got events on at the moment so really great deals to uh, la at the moment you can nip over to vegas the super bowl is on i know the super bowl you may or may not be able to get into the event uh, we can get tickets, though, but if you want to save a bit of money, there are some really great tailgate parties, and they do these huge parties and barbecues in a car park, and everyone brings, like, their food, and they watch the game on screens, and you just get this really great energy, so you can be a part of the Super Bowl without actually even going to the game. So that's really cool, but I want to tell you guys about something you might not have heard of. So have you ever heard of Coolcation? 
No, no. 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 Okay, guys. So caucasian is the big thing. So being that 2023 was one of the hottest years on record, our idea is going to cold places in summer. So there's oh. less crowds. You can go to Scotland, go to Iceland, you can go to Norway and experience the midnight sun. So imagine being up at midnight and still having daylight around you and being able to see the sun. So there are some really great moments that you can have when you go to places that traditionally you should go to when it's hot and going when it's cold. You can save a lot of money and you experience it in a totally different way. So not rainy, no galoshes need to get out. You can just walk around. It's amazing. The other one that's great, guys, is skip gen travel. So skip gen travel looks like it's going to be one of my favorites where grandparents are actually taking the grandkids away. The parents have a break at home and the grandkids are going away with the grandparents. I love so this. that is another brilliant idea. <laughs> wow. Okay, I am sitting here at the moment, Irene, honestly, just going, how on earth am I going to fund my life of travel? Because <laughs> I'm like, I want this, I want that, I want this. Let's talk cruising. Uh, Daz and I Crazy. have uh, recently, you know, uh, 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 self-proclaimed ourselves as, as you know, cocktail cruisers. Yep. Um, but let, let's talk Absolutely. cruising because it's uh, so much to do on a cruise, isn't there? Cruising is amazing. And at the moment, you've got some really great players coming in too. So obviously, Royal Caribbean is an incredible cruise line as well. Um, but we've also got Virgin Voyages now coming out of Melbourne, Australia. Um, they obviously come out of Brisbane and Sydney, but their home is Melbourne. And um, Virgin Voyages is adults only, is a really great cruise experience. They've got some great deals on. There's still another sailing from Melbourne coming up in March, and then the uh, they go across to Europe, and then they're back at the end of the season uh, next year. The other um, one to have a look at is the Disney Cruise for Kids. So yeah. Disney Magic is fantastic, just so much fun. So we've gone from one to the other, right? So adults <laughs> only if you don't want kids around or get all the kids on board on the Disney Cruise. So they do great as well. The thing about cruising, and as you guys know, right, you get on board, you unpack, you're done. Mm-hmm. You can then just experience the cruise. You get all the food included. Obviously, you can get a drinks package, but you get to explore these incredible different places in the world. It's a really great way to have an onboard hotel, pretty much. You dump your stuff and then you get to explore. So um, I think cruising is going to be huge this year. It's always big. But it's really nice to see major cruise liners coming back to Australia. That's uh, a really important thing for our industry. All right, did uh, I notice that you might have been rubbing shoulders with one Richard Branson? I was with Richard <laughs> Branson. I certainly was. It was actually great. There was only uh, 10 of us there and we got to spend some time with him and he made us um, some lovely Australian lamingtons mm. in the kitchen, which was brilliant. But he was, he was fantastic and he was talking uh, all about what he wants to do for the cruise industry in Australia, which was really brilliant, bringing more jobs there. But what was even better, and I think this is really relevant to all of your listeners, is when you go on board the cruise, we spoke to every single uh, staff member that was on board with absolutely no kind of media uh, quell at all. So they didn't come up and say you know, to the guys, you can't say this, you can't speak to them. Every single staff member was allowed to speak to us. So we did some great interviews with them. But every single one of them loved being a part of that brand, loved being on board the ship. So it just shows what a great culture they've got, right? Mm. And I think that's great for customers going on board, knowing that, you know, for people that love working there, are happy being on board, they're going to give you an incredible experience. So, yeah, it's really great. And cruising is a wonderful way to travel. Aaron, before we let you go on a busy Friday, uh, we uh, are so grateful for the fact that uh, you're able to help us with our bookings for our next cruise. We love it that much. We're going again. We are annual are. cruises now. <laughs> now, what? So for people who aren't sure of booking themselves or going through a travel agent, what is the advantages? Or what are the advantages? And what's the advantage of obviously using Travel Globe, but at an agent versus booking yourself? So using a travel agent is just a lot safer for, for one. First, they get better access to deals. So you will get better. I mean, as you know, because we booked your cruise, you can have access to much a better discount. They will do the work for you and search around. But it's also when it really counts is when something goes wrong. So for those who do use online systems, and there's, you know, if you're doing a point to point, so I'm fine, Melbourne and Sydney, you know, you might not need an agent for that. 
But what happens if something goes wrong, you want someone to speak to and you want someone to organise your entire trip. So we do entire itineraries. Uh, We do short trips, so we can do those Melbourne, Sydney legs. But a travel agent gives you security. They also uh, study to be a part of this industry and understand destinations. They have great access to uh, packages that you wouldn't necessarily get online and multi-city trips. So doing more than, you know, say Melbourne, Sydney, Brisbane, LA, Frankfurt, wherever, um, your travel agent will be able to find you the best deal and also the best airline uh, that's going to suit your needs. And I think that's what's important um, is having that expert that really gets what you need to do. Well, so Travel Globe is, you know, our guys are already on board, ready to take any bookings, but all of these things we can do for you and we can probably save you money. This is amazing. We are so excited to have you on board with us each and every month. Now, Irene, if people are listening this morning and all of a sudden are feeling inspired to book a holiday or even have a look at some options, what would be the best way for them to contact you? So they can either call Travel Globe on 1300 980 514 or email us at bookings at travelglobe.com.au or visit our website at travelglobe.com.au. You're fantastic, Irene. Welcome to the Cindy and Daz Extra Butter team and we look Thanks, forward to guys, chat, love you. Chatting, <laughs> chatting to you every month. Have a great Friday and we'll, 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 we'll chat soon. Chat next month. Have a great day, everyone. Oh, isn't she great? I'm so excited that we've got Irene with us. Just that energy that she brings is just like, okay, I'm ready now. I'm going to start packing. 